Welcome back to Patriot. Mission 3, Spy. I want to get through that door. I mean, I don't know if I need to, but... I'm, I want to. It just doesn't look like there's much room to hide in this corner. So I kind of want to wait until this guy turns around again. I hope that the guy in the next room isn't going to be in a place that's problematic. I mean, I guess I could... This wouldn't be a bad place to use a moss. But again, I prefer to keep them... Timing is bad. We can't hide here. Hmm. What shadow passed my view? Maybe he won't see me. I just don't know where the guy in the next room is. I thought he might have been walking towards the doors from the timing that I. Is that the old friend? Okay. Good time. If someone is told, please, I just keep this. Not bad, Tommy, because somebody saw me somehow. Saw me, maybe? Hmm. What shadow passed my view? Hmm. How am I in darkness here? This makes no sense. <laughs> On the other hand, it's like I'm going to be turning this way. Maybe it's a good idea that I'm in darkness. Do I want to go on the upper catwalk? I, I really don't think I do. Servants here. Where are we? Living quarters now. Okay. Well, I kind of. My plan had been to keep exploring the main building, and we went a bit into the Congress Hall and a bit into the power station. More basement that we have not seen. Just a cellar for food. Plumsies and yumsies. Does this not connect to the other basement at all? Apparently not. Seven guards as well. It's a little. One of the others. A little. What's the words? I don't know. Anachronistic. 
Doesn't make any sense to me, because they were the ones the perfect guards for the last of Karis's disciples. Okay. How are you supposed to get that? Secret the intruder from The last character's disciples that he forcibly, you know, servantified. Like the the original textures have got blood running around the chest from like well it's unclear exactly what, but Extremely fiddly. I've got a wave at that time. I mean, that's the same guard, right? No, no question. Yeah, it's the kitchen door. There's a some there's two people on guard there. Alright, what what room are they guarding? So we need the kitchen. So they're guarding this here. That's not a G, that's an H. That's a G. No, they must be guarding this door here, right? Because I'm outside, I'm looking down this hallway, I've been sitting in this corner. Dining room. Right, we've been in here. Okay, so they're gonna be a problem. I don't think I can get past them. This way, so. I guess we're going. We can't, don't tell me we're gonna go back through the fucking power plant. I can try the upper floor, but. I don't see the upper floor's got anywhere to hide. Learn anywhere, learn anywhere to hide quietly. How do we get in here? Maybe when we're coming from the other side, we have some some options. I jump forward and just jumped up. That was no good. And that's what it becomes when you when you do a force ghost. It's, especially when it's so if they become alerted. get off the fucking ladder. Well, as I was saying, it's when you do forced ghosting without proper consideration. I mean, the fact that they hear a loud noise, it fails as well. It's not that they see me. If they reach level 3 alerts, an instant fail. Right, whether they saw anything. <laughs> Fuck! Can you just, like... Bad ladder design in this mission. Sideways mantles off ladders is horribly unreliable and you should never make your mission need it. 
should be able to walk off the ladder. All right, you can walk off the ladder. Oh, there's a big lever there. I wonder what that does. All right, on the plus side, we, we can have the upper floor of the living quarters here, right? That's nice. There is the guard post. Maybe we can get into this place without having to walk past lots of baddies. I want to try and flip that switch too, and or at least find out what's up. I mean, it's probably going to be bad, right? You turn all the power off. Oh no, that's one of the five levers. Right, we've got the five levers. What was the, what was the note? The report. No. The note? No. The letter about the balcony button? No. Do I not have any written information? There, the five levers note. Uh, all exits. In case of alarm, system can be turned off by five levers. So... Surely it's irrelevant if I'm not going to be setting off the alarm. Oh, hello. We have metal beams. I can't rip up to those. But we do have this interesting note that we've got perhaps portable beams up there. Perhaps. They perhaps, but probably not, right, in practice. I want to follow this guy down the catwalk. In hopeful, hopefully quietly. What did it say? Different buildings in Cog Tower. And there aren't that many different buildings, right? There's five buildings. Okay. There'll be one in each. But this is the time to get this one for sure. here again. But oh, we've got a wooden roof. Oh, I see. I don't know why we've got a wooden roof. It doesn't seem very mechanist -y, but, you know. I'll take it. So I could have done that in this room as well, I suppose. I want to lean, but I'm afraid it's going to make noise. Oh uh, yeah, we can get out across the beam on this end. Well, let's have a look at that. Just to, so we know where it goes. Slightly awkward corner crossings, but they're not impossible. Steps in a vent? That's, that's novel. I don't think I've ever seen steps in a vent before. Oh, this is a room I've not been in. Where are we? Ah, oh, okay. Event. Control room. Control room sounds useful. Hang on, we'll... Oh, it's not controlling anything. Fucking mantle, Garrett. Apparently, leaning isn't enough to get a fire arrow. Now, do I need a fire arrow? 
No, technically. Do I have any fucking use for a fire arrow that won't immediately set the alarm off? Probably not, but maybe we could use it against the prototype bot. Okay. Maybe. Super awkward movement there. Surely it's super hot here as well. If someone is there, then show thyself. Come on, just let me just... <laughs> Don't waste a fucking moss arrow to get this. It seems a bad idea, but... I guess I can just save before trying to mantle, and if, it, if the mantle fails... Reload again? Like that. Come on. Mantle fails. And what I think I need to do is actually step back. Nope. Nope, that's gonna kill me. This is just stupid. This is just ridiculously stupid. Ah, fucking stupid design. Ah. This one doesn't, isn't super hot for some reason. Maybe I can make it from this one. There we go. The guard in this carver. Come into the light so that I might see thee. Sorry. Is he really that blind? Loyalty this is, is fairly dim. Burns away the jungle, I, got, I got lucky there, that's for sure. Alright, so let's go back to the vents then. <laughs> Again, sideways mantle needed there. You can maybe do a step off on that. I'm going to do a lot of crawling again. At least this time they're not worrying about timing, so... How did I get into the power room? I didn't come through that door, right? It was this door I came through, right? But it didn't match up. Oh, that's the upper floor. Right. I came through this room. So here I've been in... None of those. Well, I've kind of, kind of been in the hallway. Alright, let's just save. I'll just keep going. I'm not sure we go any south. Yeah. It's very kind of them to put a wooden roof on their power station. Oh, this is going to be a problem because we might not be able to get through depending on head bob. Well, potential problem. Turns out not to be an actual problem. And we can get out the ends of the beams here as well. It's not just uh, reversing the room. It actually gives us somewhere else to go. That's interesting. Probably comes out in the guard post. Would be typical. Oh, blessed wood. This can be webs as well. Nope. The bit that we got webbed in running when running away was just 
was just hard coded to be whoops and running away. This is a big old empty. Big old empty attic. We did break the webs, so that's kind of funny. Oh, hello. Please avoid falling down, respect the cleaner's work. <laughs> oh shit, I see. Oh, is that... Seriously? Seriously, that's... That's it. It's 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 not a fun warning. It's this stupid level designer <laughs> trolling you. Okay, I changed my mind. It's not funny. It's just silly then. You step on there and you're slippery, and then you slide, and he's gonna slide and die. I understand it is a the warning saying don't fall, but then just to make it, like, actually just a troll, level design troll, it just takes the, takes the fun of the joke away and just makes it tedious. Where are we now? Okay, to Attic. Bare room, no windows, you're hanging laundry out in our bare room with no ventilation at all? That seems like a terrible idea. And wooden mold, you're just gonna get mold growing everywhere. And nothing's gonna dry. You need, you need dry air. Warm dry air if you can. Don't see any water crystals in there, so I think we're just done with the laundry. What's the situation in this hallway? Hello. Something to read. Stop and read. This night is Brother Angelo's turn to watch the temple. There's a pretty noise hearted weekend. Any trifle like Doors Lamb can kill him at once. Keep from your common jokes and better keep away from the temple and Karis will keep you. Come on, Dad. Is that the temple? Through here? I mean, that's the tower, right? That goes through the tower. Which isn't on the map, so I guess that's the temple. Right, so we can go that way in a bit. I guess we're hearing someone asleep down below. Is about outside. The guard is not coming in here, that's good. Monastery of St. Karras. Situated on a peninsula, the monastery is separated from the shore by a narrow dam. A uh, causeway, I think. At high tide, the causeway is sometimes covered and the peninsula becomes an island. But even during a very low tide, when the ocean retreats a long way and the monastery seems to be standing right on the shore, the access to it is obstructed because the landscape surrounding the peninsula consists of deadly dangerous quicksands, which can only be navigated with the help of an experienced guide. Right. I know that a later mission is set there because that's the that's the mission that uh, actually made me want to play this campaign. I mean, it was on the list, but that bumped it up the list a long way. Is that um, that's based on the Isle and Monastery of uh, Mont Saint Michel 
in uh, Normandy, I think, in France somewhere. Which is on on top of a is on an island um, with access only by a narrow causeway. And it's just like a, a kind of conical hill with the monastery on top. Okay. I might as well mark a nice dark room, right? So there's the stairs down to the lower floor, so we might as well check out the novices' rooms and living rooms. We want I want to get in there, but I think I want to look at try getting in from this end, right? This looks like somebody's apartment, or like a big apartment for somebody important. So let's check out downstairs. Leave the door to the dark room open for quick retreats. What's this? Oh. Bella is looking at you, yeah. Right, this is... Okay, yeah, we've been there. Cool. Nice fancy chests. Too bad they've got... They've got no, nothing at all in them. Not sure where those footsteps I'm hearing are from. Not enough personal belongings. Oh, yeah, and these are nice dark rooms as well, right? There's a living room, but it's, I think that's a misnomer. It's got three beds in it. No, I don't see if somebody's there. There's no point. Nobody will be there. So dark. Nothing. These are very, very good uh, body disposal rooms. I'm not going to have any bodies to dispose of. Now somebody is asleep in this one, right? No? Yes? Yes. That's more your house. Okay, you water arrows. I'm not going to turn the light on, obviously, it might wake them. Hi, James. See, I've got many brothers and sisters now, but I still haven't forgotten the first one. I hope it will never happen. I've only been here two months, so it's too early to have any conclusions, but on the whole, it is good. Mother was concerned that they would make a religious fanatic of me, but surprisingly, they do not seem set on religion. Maybe it is because of the influence of our new leader, the Capellan. Funnily, nobody knows his real name. Even more, no one has ever seen his face. But all the mechanists worship him. They say he brings luck to our army. Really, we are incredibly lucky. At least a quarter of the city is conquered now, so maybe we'll be able to walk along its streets very soon. I've seen him once from afar during mass in the temple, and honestly, he looked like an ordinary priest. But his solutions are sometimes really paradoxical, and it makes us think. We have the feeling that he can see into the future, because he never makes any mistakes. Capellan leads us to victory firmly and surely, and I can't see any doubtful people anywhere. In a month, my obedience finishes and I'll go into the reserve. And three months after that, if I show the best I can do, I could even be re recommended to Capella. It is the personal Capellan's guard, the mechanist's elite. But I need to get the best results in every subject. Fortunately, there are quite good training rooms here too. Perhaps you might like to stay here too. Think about it, alright? Your sister, Anne. Wow. Hmm, where what am I hearing? Okay, that's the guards. The two guards outside that door. Я восхищаюсь капелланом. Взять хотя бы его идею использовать летучих мышей для доставки сообщений. Гениально! Летучие мыши. Фу, мерзкие создания. Вот-вот. Все так думают, поэтому за все время ни одно сообщение не было перехвачено. Yeah, I call it Batty, not genius, but fair enough. Это же чепуха. Всем известно, что у Караса не было детей. 
а, собственно, что нам известно наверняка? Это бы многое объяснило. I just had a little golden child. <laughs> Made a mess all inside the capellan. I'm gonna go and see if they've got anything more to say in a minute. But first, let's just see if there's anything in here for us. It looks like no. I do appreciate that the they're using music in the ambience, like, which is... Not really what I think the family is ought to be, but that's fine, that's a matter Hello? of taste. Reveal thyself. Over here. No, nothing more to say? In truth, I know not what it was. Uh, that it is very subdued. The music is not overbearing like some missions have been. And where was the stairway? Up here. Right, we wanted to try and get into that other room. I guess it's maybe the Capellan's room? We wanted to try and get you up here since there's not two guards outside. Hello. Right, this is on the patrol route. Wouldn't have expected that. Why are they going to the laundry? Well, I'm gonna have to wait because I need to scout it out down there. I mean, I guess I can. Yeah. I guess I can scout. Okay, so the guard is looking down the hallway, but we can we can put out the light, the gas lamp there. The laundry's a dead end. I'm hearing footsteps again. Right. <laughs> the sound, of course, is coming from for me, not from the uh, scouting hall. They're going the other way, so that's good. If we douse this one... Hmm. We have a lot of water arrows. There's a guard there, we don't want to get spotted. Let's douse the second one as well. For safety. We can pick the lock, that's good news. Books look like it. I have been able to. Little personal shrine. Aha, second lever. I, mean, I guess I can mark it, right? Just for, for reference. I guess I didn't mark the one in the power station, but we don't have a proper map of the power station. So. Classroom is empty. Empty of valuables. Empty of water in the bath, too. Bell. Calling servants. No bedding on the bed. Okay, now downstairs we know there's guards outside this door, and I don't know where there might be. Sound like we've got anything indoors that is guarding anything. Hmm. 
No light switch? Ah, there's a light switch. Although maybe it's a bad place to have lights on. Monastery of St. Carus, that's exactly what I was talking about. Uh, that is a picture of uh, Sir Michelle. Monastery of St. Carus maps, nice. What are these? Oh, that's just part of the texture. Oh, the beast can look in here, okay. At least from the distance. Alright, well, there doesn't seem to be anything else of value in here, which is. I mean, I guess fine. We've got the lever. We got the map for a future mission. Those are both good things. Map for a future mission, especially. Okay, so now the other elephant in the room that I was ignoring point on purpose before is this ceiling tile. Wait, oh, is this to the attic? <laughs> oh, I didn't even. I didn't even register. I, just, I came in here, looked up, I didn't even register that it was a way down in here. Okay. It's nothing important. I guess we just pretend that this fell, right? Okay, so we've been through all here and uh, done everything that seems to need to do in. Can I scoot around here without him seeing? Just a boiler, yes? Or perchance something worse? Nay. Was surely just moss in mine eyes. Just moss in thine eyes. Some broad heads. A noise. I'm as sure of it as the builder himself. <coughs> Come on, don't do stupidly short frog distances and then put a freaking chair in the way. Brothers, keep an eye on the door to Capillon's chambers more carefully than you watch your own posters. As no one knows whether he is inside, outside, or even a long way away from the cog tower, you can believe he is always here and always watching you. We are but cogs on a gear, and he who doubts shall go to the boiler house and shovel coal. As cogs on gears, I'm very good at shoveling coal. Right. Did I come in this room before? I guess not. Alright. Living quarters is done. Living quarters is... Oh no, did I go in the restroom? I kind of think I didn't. But living quarters is traversable. We could get to the center place. We can also get to the upper floor. No, we can't get to the upper floor, lower floor of the uh, main building. Comes out uh, here. Hmm. Well. I don't really feel like traversing the power station again. So we'll just slightly sneak by. We do have the patroller here. Oh, restroom. <laughs> That's not what I call a restroom. This is a... I guess I mean a break room, right? I can hear the patroller. Are they coming or going? Sounds like going.
All right. That's the security bot room, right? I guess we gotta go through the conservatory again. Past the camera. As quickly as we might. Alright, oh, we've been in here. And we went in there, that's the secretary's place. Lobbies? Well, that's not what I would call a lobby, but reception maybe. That's a different code book for, for, for some reason. That's soft. Is that the noise I heard? Oh, <sighs> silence just visits a moss me again. In my eyes. Now I'll Welcome, friend. Hmm. Which way do I want to go? Right or left? They look. And what's this stairway go to? That's a dead end, right? This says there's no connection there. We get left. Oh, they're on this floor. They're gonna see me. New objectives. What's the new objective? This one? Don't use any weapon against the Magnus? Don't let them see you? No. Learn more about the mysterious Capellan? Are these guys supposed to have had a... Ah, are these guys supposed to have... If someone is... Alright, that's uh... That's my warning to get out of here, not that way. Nobody comes in here, right? Right, that was the objective, but I didn't hear anything, so I'm confused as to why that just ticked off then. <laughs> he turns and goes into the archive, right? This is the patrol we're all about. You're supposed to have a... Your objective didn't tick off this time. What? Hello? Are you supposed to have a conversation that I'm supposed to overhear? <clears throat> That's very weird. Oh shit, I didn't even see the camera there. And the turret. Camera. I guess that's probably one up there too. Oh, we're here, right? No, we are here. Ah. Oh. Right, we're coming up this way. Yeah, it's it is there. Okay. I'm gonna get to the camera there. There's definitely a camera here. And two guards. I reckon we might want to do some climbing. <sighs> I 
this one's wood as well, so it's nicer. All right. There is... So that's the bathroom. Right, so my, my in thinking that this was the way I was going is entirely wrong, doesn't matter. Okay, we can get into this area elsewhere, or we can maybe get into it from this corner hall room. Duck around the corner here. Without the camera seeing us. Relative safety, I guess. We should be able to time this. Okay. Let's become invisible. <laughs> not like that. That's not invisible enough. And behold, a man will come unto thee, and he will be a leader of men, and he will be a wager of war. You don't have a key on you, do you? No. Safe room. Chief of Department. No sign of anything in there. If it's locked, it probably means people aren't patrolling in here, though. That's probably good news. Just walk through that room. <sighs> Does the chief have anything of any relevance? Apparently not. No, nothing at all. <sighs> they are the chief of worthlessness. Fair enough. sense of where the camera's turning. Okay, that is bypassable. <sighs> this is a military department, right? This is going to have info on their bots and stuff, if nothing else. We want to get to these offices on this end. One of a secure metal door there. But one of a very insecure office. I, mean, I don't know if anybody patrols, so let's just... Rope down carefully and keep the rope as a quick way back up. Thanks to the open... Passageway, we should hear if somebody's walking around. No information for us there? Hello? Psychological portraits of opponents with comments, page 208. Major Scrinch, Chief of the Bureau of Military Intelligence. Extremely dangerous, but elimination would be inexpedient. In addition to the technical complexity of the question, his mind could be of considerable value. Okay. Surprised I can't pick that one up, it seems like it would be... Something that Scrinch would want to know about? Oh yeah, there's nothing in here, okay. Sure, I didn't expect us to see me so easily.
was just an armory. I mean, not going to complain too much, but I was hoping for uh, something a little more connected with my mission than my equipment. Well, some extra moss is not going to go awry. Broadhead's probably useless. Let's carefully climb on one of these. <laughs> Standing on the upper shelf. Another fire arrow. Anything else? There is somebody in the hallway. This is mines. Aha, mines are very good. Mines will help us destroy the prototype, but that's that's extremely useful. I hope they're not armed. It would be funny. Put armed mines on a shelf. Wow. Again, with the ridiculously short uh, rock distances. Yeah, back up we go. <laughs> so that was the armory. Well, we've been in all those rooms. Yeah, not what I wanted. been in this room? No. Alright, now we're, I think we're done with this ceiling. Right, this must be where the patrol goes, right? Let's just wait a minute and see. Well, I suppose we can, uh, give ourselves, give ourselves a quick exit, although, if we do get seen in here, it's going to be bad, right? Oh, neither of those are anything? Alright, well, if we're going to have to pick this lock, I do want to know what the patrol is up to. I guess we'd hear them coming down the hallway there, right? safety of the corner room and the upper level of the observatory to get around to the other side of the building well it's a few minutes early I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode uh, if for no other reason than uh, I need to go to the toilet quite urgently uh, but we have got some stuff done so I'm just gonna go chill here in the corner and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you here soon for the next episode